Hey guys, welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts. And today we're going to be taking on what is generally thought of as the hardest boss of Kingdom Hearts 1, Sephiroth. So for equipment, make sure you have a ton of defense increasing equipment. I mean, strength is nice and all, but defense is the biggest priority, I guess. Also, Ultima Weapon helps an incredible amount during this fight because it can actually guard and counter a lot of Sephiroth's attacks. So I really recommend that you synthesize that. Donald and Goofy don't matter very much in this fight because they don't appear at all. For abilities, make sure you have some kind of invincibility attack, like Strike Raid or Ars Arca excuse me, Ars Arcanum. I chose Strike Raid just because it costs less MP and it gives you a ton of invincibility frames. And it's really useful for dodging Sephiroth's later attacks. You can use Ars Arcanum, but I don't really like it that much. I don't like it that much, you know, because it costs 3 MP and it's a quite pretty short attack, and I use the attacks mainly for the invincibility frames that you get from it. And of course, for items, make sure you have tons of elixirs. You can do this without elixirs, of course, but I'm not actually that amazing at this game that I can do it without elixirs. Uh, six, all right, and some high potions. Now, there are quite a few ways to do this fight. Oh, yeah, by the way, customize menu, make sure you have Aeroga. Aeroga helps a lot, and I actually did this off camera, and I apologize for this because I was planning on doing the Dalmatians on camera, but it was just a pain to record, and I just couldn't handle it. So I apologize for that. But to get Aeroga, you need to have all 99 Dalmatians. Let's talk to Phil and enter the, the question mark, question mark, question mark match. So there's a mini cutscene here, kind of an unnecessary cutscene, but you can deal with it. So as I was saying before, there are plenty of ways to deal with this guy. Um, a few of the ways involve guarding and countering his attacks, like a pro. Um, some of them involve spamming Strike Raid and Ars Arcanum, which are considerably easier than using the guard counter method. And you can, or you can always just spam items. I'm probably going to be doing the spamming Strike Raid and item method, but we'll see. Because I've actually attempted to face this guy once before, and I died pretty badly. But I reloaded my save game so I can get my elixirs back. And we're going to take this guy on for real this time. So, weird fact. Sephiroth is voiced by Lance Bass. That's kind of weird. A singer voicing a demon guy. So right off the bat, cast Arrow. And you'll be able to survive the first few hits. Sephiroth hits pretty hard, but he's not that hard to guard counter, unless you're bad at the game like me. Darn it, I'm not doing that well. And he's also kind of annoying because he tends to, you know, be an annoying man. Also, you'll notice that I'm not doing any real damage to him. That's because he has one invisible health bar on top of his normal health bar. So if you end up, you know, not doing any visible damage to him, don't be afraid because, you know, there's nothing wrong with your game. He just has one invisible health bar. Ah, oh, Demi Sephiroth. Oh yeah, if you use the target lock, you can actually find out where he's going to be before he teleports in. So it's kind of useful. It's actually extremely useful. Okay, alright, cool. So generally, one strategy that's, you know, acclaimed on the internet as being the easiest way to kill him is to just attack him in between those fire attacks. One problem with this method is that you have to use a ton of MP, and generally you don't have that much MP to use. So his first bar of health is down, and it's not that hard to take down. A lot of it's just guard countering to get MP back, but, oh god, I'm low on health. Okay. Come at me, Sephiroth. Darn it. He, he moves quite a bit whenever he slashes. I recommend jumping in the air when you want to cast magic. It helps a lot for your... Oh, come on, Sephiroth. Really? You were right there. You should have been hit by that guard counter. So... Not really much else to say for this first phase of the fight. It's actually kind of harder to damage him during this phase than it is during the next phase. Mainly because he has a lot of jumping slashes that tend to make it impossible to catch him in any of your attacks. 
Wow, strike rate's pretty good. Huh. Nice. I did not know that it'd take out like more than half a bar. Alright, I'm low on MP now. So you can get hit by him and get your MP back. Cause he gives you a ton of MP back with each hit. So, as you can see, I have a profit of MP at this point, I think. Ah, oh, crap. Yay, strike rate spamming. Okay, so he's going to be starting his next phase of attacks fairly soon. I believe after the first two bars of health, that is the invisible bar of health and the other bar of health. And I'm out of MP. Nice. Alright, there's my MP back. Damn you, Sephiroth. Stop spamming that fire attack. There we go. Got at least one counter on him. Okay. Got a good amount of MP back. That's nice. Come at me, Sephiroth. Okay. There we go. So we should be starting his next phase of attacks fairly soon. Ah, oh, damn you, Sephiroth. Alright, now. That is not cool. Using that attack twice in a row, that's kind of uncool. Darn it, I hate that jump, but that, that fast slash. Okay, I should get arrow back on. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm not really doing any damage to him right now. That's not a really good thing. Yeah, I'm doing absolutely no damage to him, because I'm not very good at guard countering. Ah, oh, darn you. Sephiroth. He should be starting his next phase soon, which makes it slightly easier to find windows to hit him in. There we go. He has this new attack that's called Descend Heartless Angel, and basically what it does is it lowers your HP and MP to 1 if you happen to get hit by it. It's not that hard to dodge. The only way to dodge it is to hit him while he's casting it. A fairly good trick is to mash target lock every time he teleports. Now you can use Glide to get to him like I'm doing, but it's not really that vital that you have super glide. This attack is kind of crappy. And crap. I just semi dodged that attack with guard. I am a beast. Holy god. It's not really that difficult to dodge that ground special, you know, I call it his semi desperation move, but it's not that difficult to dodge. As always, keep your health high, of course. Come on, okay, there we go. Oh god, that was kind of cool. I felt good dodging that. Crap, 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 crap. No, damn, damn you, Sephiroth. See, I kept using elixir. You pretty much need an elixir or some kind of healing item at that point, because you have no MP, you have no HP. You can always guard counter like a boss, but I cannot do that. I'm not skilled enough. So as you can see, I'm not doing that much damage to him at this point because his defense is quite high. And I don't have arrow. That's a bad thing. Come at me, Sephiroth. Where are you at, bro? Alternatively, you can use Strike Raid to dodge his attack. Because Strike Raid makes you invis invincible, and it makes his attack a ton easier to dodge. However, it also robs you of two precious MP, and MP is very precious. And arrow up. Ah, come on, Sephiroth. I 
I use air combos because they're considerably faster than ground combos. And also they're much more hip than ground combos. That's irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm getting tired of guard countering these attacks because it's this attack hits hard and I don't want to die right now. <laughs> Show me what you've got, says Sephiroth. He tends to use um Sin Heartless Descend a Heartless Angel right after that, you know, desperation esque move. Oh, what now, Sephiroth? I'm just a beast, holy god. What you can do is you can kind of bait him into using a, a short range slash on you by standing really close to him, although that's really all I think of. Oh, I'm low in health, man. It's not good. Okay, Sephiroth, you should calm down a bit. Haha, uh -huh, he teleported right into me that time. What a what a fool. Oh, I need arrow, crap. Ah, oh, come on. Sephiroth, what are you doing, bro? Haha, <laughs> what a loser. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. Oh god, okay, that was kind of cool, but also kind of terrifying, holy god. So a good way to bait him into using that fire attack and give you a chance to, you know, cast cure and whatnot is to not combo him into teleporting. Okay, come on, Sephiroth. You're spamming that attack quite a bit now. Really, Sephiroth? Come on, bro. Be a cool, kid. Crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't have arrow. Really? Really, bro? Come on. Don't be like that. Oh god. Yeah, I'm kind of uptight right now. I'm very, you know, stringy or whatever that word is. I don't know what that word is, but... Arrow, 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 there you are. Oh god, come on. That should have been a guard counter. Come on, Sephiroth. Aw oh, man, he's been baiting me into doing that. Oh god, I need arrow. Alright, Sephiroth. Crap. I only have one MP, that's not good. Maybe I should try to get hit or something. I oh, never mind, he's doing his. Alright, this battle's going not that badly, but should never get cocky, because I might die or something. Oh god. Ah, oh, come on, Sephiroth. Ah, oh, damn you. Ah, oh, come on. What are you doing here? There we go. Right, that was a successful bait. Oh god. How long is this fight going on for? It's been 15 minutes. This is not good. Show me what you've got. Shut up, Sephiroth. No one cares about you.
Come on. Stop jumping around like that. Oh crap, I didn't have an arrow for a bit. Yes, I'm getting intention. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. I hit him in midair. In mid-jump. She's going to be beginning his final phase of the fight soon, and it's incredibly difficult to hit him. Soon, so... Crap. Oh crap, that was very close. Oh my god. Okay, that was not cool. Not cool, Sephiroth. Oh, that was a cool counter. I'm a beast. Oh crap, oh crap. He's entering Mega, Mega Death mode. No, not Sephiroth. This part is quite difficult. So these shockwaves... So these meteors do a nice chunk of damage to you. So just dodge roll blindly around, do whatever you want. No one cares. So whichever direction he pushes that thing in, run away. So he has this kind of an annoying attack called dodge this. Or at least I think it's called dodge this, because he says dodge this whenever he does it. I'm very low on health. That's not cool. God, Sephiroth, stop being so uncool. No, I don't want to meet my fate. My fate's lame. How do I find out how to do this fight properly? The nice thing is that he does massive damage now, so he pretty much gives you a ton of MP back. Stop telling me to come, I'm so weird. Oh crap. Oh god, this is not cool. Oh god. Oh god, that's in Heartless Angel. He doesn't talk anymore though. It's even worse now. We've won. Shut up, Sephiroth. No one cares about whether you've won or not. Just watch the meteorite on the outside layer and kind of try dodging it. You can stand pretty close to him, actually. Nothing will happen. So he tells me to dodge this a lot. Oh god, I need guard. I mean, arrow. And heal. No, I'm not gonna meet my fate. Stop that, Sephiroth. I'm gonna keep on du du guarding in the wrong direction. Crap. This is not good. Not good. Doing very little damage to him. Stop telling me to dodge things. Damn you, Sephiroth. Oh, crap. There we go. He no longer says Descend Heartless Angel, so you gotta be really careful. Okay, okay, come on Sephiroth, calm down. Alright, I have my elixir. And this is going to be a long fight from now on. I wonder if I can hit him. I don't know, I don't think so. Oh god. How could he dodge that attack? I still don't know. No, I'm not going to dodge that. Oh, what now? I just countered that.
I countered that. Come on. That's bullshit. Stop BSing me, Sephiroth. Damn you, Sephiroth. Oh, where'd the arrow go? Alright, you know what? Oh, I didn't even get to hit him with judgment. Darn it. Kind of blows. Okay, okay. I made a decision, and I have no regrets. No. I'm not showing you what I have. Really? Twice in a row? Oh, well, whatever. I have strike rate, so... Alright, what now, Sephiroth? Yeah, using strike grade. What now? It's almost dead, huh? Kinda cool. Yeah, I'm gonna spam strike grade for a bit now. Crap. Let's go, Sephiroth. Come at me. Yeah, where are you at? Where are you at, Sephiroth? Oh my god, I killed you. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a really quiet fight. Oh my god, I was so silent the entire time. But now Sephiroth's dead. And Lance Bass can go back to the band he belonged in. That took 22 minutes, oh my god. I'm slow killer of Sephiroth. There's probably a better way to do that, but it doesn't matter to me. Because Sephiroth's dead. And you know what you get? You get absolutely nothing for defeating him. Yeah, but it's okay. Because we're actually done with all the secret bosses, I think. All the secret bosses are dead. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and save game. Because that took quite a while. So I think now I'm either going to go on and get some of the, you know, the secret weapons. The dream sword, the dream shield. I mean the dream shield and the dream staff, sorry. I'm either going to do that or I'm going to do some time trial in the Olympus Cup. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Oh my god, it thundered outside so loudly. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but... That's my sign to stop playing, so I'll see you guys later.